Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today's video, we're doing a thrift haul. Yay! That's right, I have been thrifting some more and I have some more treasures to share with my vintage neighbors. I am so excited to show you. If you like thrift haul videos, feel free to give this one a thumbs up. It really does help me out and I will link in the eye my thrift haul playlist so that you can check those out just in case you missed any of them. Or if you just wanna watch them again, that's cool too. Really quick, before we get into the thrift haul, I wanted to remind you I do have a sweepstakes going on to win four amazing brooches from Lipstick and Chrome. The way that you're gonna do that is go to the link in my description, download Disney Emoji Blitz, get to level 10 and screenshot it post it and tag me on Instagram at Lacey Fay. That will enter you to win the four brooches from Lipstick and Chrome. And also, if you do download the game with my link, it does act as a creator code. So anything you do spend in the game supports me and my channel. All right, my friends, I'll let us get into it. I'm excited to show you the things that I have been thrifting over the past few weeks. There are some doozies this time. I can't wait. Let's get right into it. First up, we have a copper mold. Listen, I know what you're thinking, but I didn't have this one and it was only 50 cents. Had to grab it. I think it'll look really cute to make some, maybe a Valentine Jello recipe. Let's do it. I have this size of a heart now. I have a big heart. I have a bunch of little hearts. We've got this with the copper molds for Valentine's Day. Next up, another Lacey Fay thrift haul staple item, a kitty. Look how cute it is. I love it. Kitty planter, mama kitty holding the baby kitten in its mouth. Mm, it's so cute. And it says made in Haiti on the bottom. I paid $5 for this one. And all of a sudden I have a little theme going in one of my windowsills. I have some planters, kitty planters with succulents inside, which is basically the only plant that I can maybe keep alive. <laughs> I'm the worst. Can't handle it with the house plants, but I've been doing really well with one succulent and then the other two have some fake ones. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but I couldn't leave this one behind. Super cute. I feel like it'll match the other ones perfectly in my windowsill. I was excited. Next up, this amazing True View three dimension viewer. A Vintage View Master, how cute is it? Oh my goodness, I love the font on the box. Look how cute. What fun. True View, three dimension, picture stories in color, comics, cowboys, animals, <laughs> fairy tales, movie star, travel. So cute. Here it is in all its glory. Look how cool. Love that red push button. And they had some of the cards. So I have four stories. One of them is a duplicate though, but I have The Mask of the Lone Ranger, Tom Sawyer Pirate Adventure, and Roy Rogers in three to one odds. Very cool. This is how the cards look. Check it out. Very neat. I will show you, you stick it in right here to the line. It's so cute. It's got all the, it's got the little picture, three dimensional picture with some words at the bottom, basically like a little movie, a little silent movie. Very neat. Very fun. So I'm excited. It was really fun to look through all of these. I'm excited to see if I can find maybe some more sometime. So the Viewmaster itself, I paid $10 for, and then the slides 
packets of the slides were five dollars each look at the graphics on the box i love the pictures i love the font so much fun next up we have this vintage sewing box i believe it is probably mid to late 60s i found this one for four dollars it does have a little crack in the lid but i still felt like it was worth getting for four dollars because it is still a very good size box and i really liked this top little divider organizer piece i really i really like this it's got places for your thread bobbins Thimble, pin cushion, scissors, tape measure ruler, ribbon, bobbin, pins and needles, buttons. I do have a sewing box, it's modern, from Joann's, but it's not as big and it doesn't have this handy divider piece. I'm excited to transfer all of my sewing things in this box and get it all organized. It'd be great. Next up, we've got a whole bunch of linens. I found these at a yard sale just this last weekend pretty handkerchiefs i love this one with the yellow roses and the purple flowers it's so pretty and then this pretty blue one and some hair scarves i especially like this one it's nylon hair scarf i like the kind of splotchy colors all over it and i like that it's a long rectangular one i feel like this one is going to be great for protecting my hair like in the wind. It will work great for that. I use nylon hair scarves all the time, pretty much every night, either a silk or nylon scarf on my hair for sleeping. So it will definitely come in handy for that. And then I got this one. This is a square one. And I don't know if it's gonna show up. Maybe if I hold it like this, you can see there's like little yellow flowers, I think on it it's very cute and then a yellow one which is also a square scarf these are great to use on vintage hair either for a style or just to protect your hair while you are sleeping on pin curls or something also in that same stash i got some vintage pillowcases i believe these are probably 50s or 60s they it feels like nylon it feels a lot like a lot of my vintage um, jammies and nightgowns but I thought the, the lace on it was really pretty. I like this coral color and it was a set of pillowcases. So I liked that. I don't know if you guys can hear these birds, but they are going nuts outside. Excuse me. <laughs> and then also from that same yard sale, this lovely tablecloth. Look how pretty it is. It is in really good condition. I love the colors. I love the roses but especially this turquoise. It's so pretty, you guys. A lot of times when I find vintage tablecloths like this, they're either stained or they're very faded. This one seems almost brand new. It looks really great. It's in amazing shape. There are a few little spots on it, but overall it seems almost brand new, which is awesome. I'm excited. Tablecloth, pillowcases, hair scarves, handkerchiefs, all together I paid $10. And the lady that I bought them from said that they belonged to her grandma. So that was kind of cool. It's always fun when they tell you who the items belong to before or if it's a family item. That always is very special to me. So I was excited that I can give her grandma's things a new life. Next up, I found a whole bunch of records. I found Dean Martin's Greatest Hits Volume 1 and Everybody Loves Somebody. Gotta love a good Dean Martin record. The description on here is really funny. I, what? Okay. It says, it's in the classic Martin style, singing so relaxed, you're almost afraid that any minute your record will go limp on you. What? <laughs> but anyway, I'm excited to listen. I love Dean Martin, so should be good those were a dollar each next up the 50s greatest love songs and the 50s golden hits to remember this is a three record set from columbia house somebody's a uh, record subscription probably <laughs> but they seem to be in good shape i'm excited to see what songs 
are on here. It reminds me of those super old infomercials for the, usually I think back then it was tapes or CDs, but like late at night watching TV and then those infomercials would come on about the collection of music. Let me know if you remember, if you know what I'm talking about, because it makes me feel old, but that's what I think of when I see things like this, but I, yeah. So had to grab it, the 50s golden hits to remember and the greatest love songs also for a dollar. And then lastly, Loretta Lynn's greatest hits. I do love some old country music. Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline, Johnny Cash, of course, my darling Dolly Parton. Can't leave her out. I can't, oh, I need to find some Dolly records is what I need to do. I'm on it. <laughs> so along the lines of the records, you guys, you're not gonna believe it. Let's head over here. I'm gonna show you what I found. I found this amazing voice of music record player. Just look at it, it's so cute. I looked up the serial number, it is from 1961, and I thought that it worked perfectly, however, after playing a few records, I realized that it is spinning a little slow, so I'm gonna have to get it looked at, but overall, pretty awesome. Look how cool it looks inside. It is a 10 record changer, so you can put 10 on and it will drop them one at a time and play all of the records. I love it. I paid $200 for this record player, and online it goes for about 750 so I still felt pretty good about it even though that's a little bit more than I typically spend at the thrift store but it was so perfect I couldn't leave it can you believe that record player oh, it's so good it's so cool such a cool design I love it I'm so excited it fits perfectly I feel like in my living room I was so excited I found it moving on I found these shoes and they're not vintage, but I thought that they fit the style well enough and they look brand new. I don't think they've ever been worn. I thrifted these for $3. I love the scallop details. I love the little cutouts in the material. All around, I just feel like they will match a lot of things and they'll be super comfortable to wear. If I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking or maybe if I'm working that day, had to grab them. I paid $3 for these. Next up, I thrifted this white eyelet blouse, sleeveless blouse. I loved the collar and the whole style of it seemed very 50s to me. I feel like I can style this one in a lot of different ways, either with a skirt or maybe with some capris or some shorts. It's very cute, very summery. This one was $2. Up, I found some more slips you guys I've been getting super lucky lately at the thrift store finding vintage slips I'm so excited about that so this one so pretty I love this little eyelet and the scallop lace at the top it has a side zipper this one fits perfectly I feel like it's very flattering I like this cut in the front of the triangle like kind of like a triangle cut I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it It does have a label and it says Barbizon. It is size 14. And this one was $2. Next up, this beautiful blue and white lace slip. Unfortunately, this one doesn't fit me, but I am going to send it to a sweet friend. This one was also $2. Look how pretty, you guys, this lace. Oh my gosh, I love it. My darling dear, you know who you are. This one is coming your way very soon. Next up is not actually from a thrift store, it's from a vintage clothing store, but I felt like the price was, was almost good enough to just include it, so I did. <laughs> and it is this amazing 1950s, possibly early 60s, corselet, I believe it's called a corselet. 
Oh my, I am in love with it. Look how pretty, pink, overbust. It has the front zipper. It is new old stock, you guys. It has the tag. The original tag. The straps are removable. The front metal zipper, very cool. And then it has also hook and eye closure as well. It is in amazing condition. It's basically new, new old stock, never been worn, has all of the garter straps attached and in good working order. It did end up being a tiny bit big, but I think I can still make it work. It was totally worth it. I paid $27 for it. And I know online, Instagram, eBay, Etsy, they go for at least double that. So I had to grab it and I wanted to show you. Next up is this lovely orange dress that I am wearing for this video. And I bought this dress from my sweet friend, Christina. I've talked about her before, I'll link her channel. She is at The Air Effect. She was doing a big clothing sale, and so I snagged this beauty. I love it. I love this color, you guys. It's so pretty. Such a cute summer sundress. I've already worn it several times, and I know I'm gonna get a lot more wear out of it before the summer is over. I love the textured fabric. It's very unique, very cool. I've never seen anything like it. Last up, and most glamorous of them all, I found. This gorgeous 1950s cocktail dress, black lace, yellow satin. Oh my, you guys, can you even look? Look at how beautiful it is. I love it so much. I paid a whopping $6 for this dress. Can you believe it? So lucky. I'm so so excited to wear it. I must find an occasion to do so because it is so beautiful. And there was some rips in the lace, which I was able to repair pretty easily. So totally worth it. It fits like a glove. Oh my. Oh. It does have a metal back zipper and it does have a label. It says Edward Abbott. This is what the inside looks like. Very nice, very quality designer cocktail dress. Could not be more excited. And now we need to have a cocktail party so that I can wear it, right? <laughs> you guys, that is it for my recent thrift finds. I hope that you enjoyed. Please leave me a comment. Tell me what was your favorite thing that I found. Also, have you been thrifting lately? Tell me what you found. I would love to hear about it. And if you are new and you have not subscribed already, please do so. We would love to have you join our vintage neighborhood for more of our vintage fun. We do all kinds of fun things around here. We do vintage recipes. I test out vintage gadgets and I do thrift hauls and all things vintage 1950s. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and feel free to hit the bell. That way you'll know anytime I upload a new video, which I try to do at least weekly. Thanks so much for watching and thanks so much for being a part of the Vintage Neighborhood. And I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are feeling safe and feeling loved. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.